Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. It's been a busy couple of hours. I've been chasing after Kyle and Jason, making sure they calm down with their shenanigans. Uh, ever since they returned from their mission um, out in the UK, Jason's been chasing after Kyle, spraying him in the face with a med with his med kit, and Kyle's just running around screaming, my eyes, and I have to admit, it's quite distracting. As funny as it is, it's pretty distracting, and not many... Uh, not many of the staff can get their work done with those two running about the base. Uh, but they seem to calm down right now. They're in the workout room, just uh, working out, running as usual. And I'm glad that things are calm, at least for now. Um, speaking of the last mission, I also been reading some of the mission reports and realized that my memory is not what it used to be. For some reason, I kept thinking that uh, Jason had only gotten the one kill, but he in fact got the two kills. In addition to that fact, I had completely forgotten that we could have made laser weaponry, and I just completely forgot. <laughs> I'm such a terrible commander, I keep forgetting these things. I need to ask Valen to follow me around and remind me of these things. I'm, sh I'm sure she wouldn't object to that, and the company would be nice. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna go ahead and head over to the situation room and go ahead and fulfill our request, and we're gonna send these Seeker uh, Rex over to Argentina. It appears they wasted little time in integrating the Seeker's components into their own equipment. They, we gained 20 credits and 4 engineers. Very nice. Alright. So with that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and make some laser equipment. And looks like they're already in the news. Agents operating inside Argentina reportedly use new stealth technologies. Hmm, I wonder where they got that from. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead back to engineering go ahead and make the equipment morning, that we need we're always glad to have more help down here good to hear dr shen we can always use the help all right we're gonna go ahead and make the laser rifle it was 17 credits before i believe so credit saved credit earned so let's go ahead and field test this shall we Very nice. I'm quite impressed. Our troops are gonna love this. Alright, with that taken care of, we're also getting uh, a pair of laser pistols for our squad that's ready to go for our next mission. We do have a crash site out in Brazil, and I already know who I'm gonna be bringing along to this, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain why I'm bringing them. Uh, John is actually gonna be coming along with the majority of Bravo this time around. Uh, because he's getting close to the rank of captain and the reason why I'm bringing him along is I want to get him to captain so that he can unlock the uh, squad size 2 uh, upgrade so that we can have six squad members you guys keep uh, many of you keep asking me when it's the time for them to go back out into the field and I'm trying to do what I can and by doing the squad size uh, upgrade I'll be able to bring at least one more of you each mission so I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get everybody out there. I know what's best. <laughs> All right. Now, now that John has his equipment, he's going to be going along with the rest of Bravo. Jason's going to be sending this one out this time. Uh, Mike, I actually should talk about. Uh, he he was working a lot in the Mac uh, Foundry earlier, and he's been working on a new paint job. I guess he just didn't like his original paint job but now he's sporting a new dark red and black striped look looking great very predatory um Kathy, we're also going to be bringing Kathy out there uh, i was thinking of thinking of uh, bringing out richard but at the same time i want to focus on training one uh one sniper at a time so once Kathy makes it to uh corporal she'll be a little more self-sufficient out in the field and then we can focus on richard afterwards uh, Austin, you're also going to be going out into the field. Um, we're going to give you the laser rifle since you're the only one carry carrying a rifle. Uh, you also got your medkit and carapace armor. JP is going to be following along. He's got the art thrower just in case if we want to capture anything. But before we go ahead and start that, we're going to go ahead and visit the gene lab and get some more troops in for the gene mod process. So let me go through my list of volunteers here. Uh, the next person to receive a gene mod is Kyle. Alright, Kyle, you're gonna go into the gene lab. 
Okay, so I am debating on what to do for the legs. Most likely, I'm going to give you muscle fiber density over adaptive bone marrow. While this would be nice since you are a frontline troop and the extra healing time would be good for you, uh, having more mobility for you as an assault is more important in my opinion. Uh, we're also going to be giving you hyper reactive pupils so this will stack very nicely with your rapid fire. But for now, I think I'm going to keep you with the eyes gene mod for now. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Thank you, Dr. Valen. Alright, the next volunteer to go in is... Richard! Alright, Richard, we're gonna get you in there. This is actually pretty nice, having a, a quick boost of gene mods out there for when you go back out in the field. So we're gonna go ahead and start you off with some depth perception, so that you have the height advantage bonus as our snipers desperately need. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Alright, the last volunteer for now is... Jason. Alright, Jason, we're gonna put you in there. It's a good thing I'm pulling you out for this mission. If, if I had managed to pull your name out but kept you on the mission, I wouldn't have put you in the gene, gene lab. Uh, so for now, hmm, what to give you? You are a support, you do have sprinter, I want you mobile, so muscle fiber density would be nice. Uh, the skin gene mods, I'm not too fussed about those right now, those will come later. And for the eyes, I'd more likely give you the hyper reactive pupils. We'll give you the hyper reactive pupils for now. We'll give you the muscle fiber density later on. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Thank you, Dr. Val. Alright, in addition to that, we are also going to add another volunteer the augmentation process for mech training. Actually, no, I'm going to hold off for that right now. Um, going to get them trained up a little more before I do so. Uh, let's go ahead and send our troops off to the UFO crash site. So we got our squad in, JP's going, he's got his arc throw and carapace armor, John's got the skeleton and his scope, uh, skeleton armor and his scope, uh, Mike's got his mech, Kathy's all kitted out with her skeleton suit and scope, and Austin's got his carapace armor and the medkit. Alright, we're set to go, let's launch the mission. Dropship has arrived. All right, let's begin the assault. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. It looks like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. All right, we have Operation Spectral Sm Spectro Stroke. Uh, it's a UFO crash site out in Brazil. Our mission objectives is to locate the crash UFO, Find the surviving crew and neutralize them, locate and secure any meld canisters, and avoid additional damage to the UFO so that we can salvage its components. Let's launch the mission. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike 1 is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Alright, we already see the area of the first melt canister. Uh, we're probably going to move Kathy to the top of the sniper so that... Um, we're going to move Kathy to the top of the ship so that she can provide sniper support. Uh, the others, we're going to have them moving around the back of the ship and then going in. Could this be the ship responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions? It's possible. It is possible, Dr. Bala. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start dashing everybody over there. Already there. 
Austin, let's move you over here, but not into the open. And JP will just move you as far as we can. Alright, we got four turns to recover that. Let's move Mike closer. I hear a lot of, a lot of activity. Let's get Kafia closer to that end of the ship so that she can provide some support. Aye, aye, Commander. We'll have her switch to our laser pistol. Go into Overwatch. All right. Now let's have Austin move around in bed. All right, it looks clear so far. JP, let's grab, let's grab that melt. Actually, Mike. Yeah, that was Mike. Oh, we got a group of mutants. Seen so far, it was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialized towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who is to go up against that thing. Austin doesn't have a shot from here. That's could lure them back after we grab the melt canister. I think that's what I might do. All right, Mike, grab that melt canister. What kind of shots do you have? 39, 19, 39 again. That's not good odds for you. We're gonna move you back. Let's hope they take the bait. John, you can go into Overwatch. Uh, JP, let's move you over here into full cover. We'll put you on Overwatch. Austin, we'll have you moving over here. Alright, looks like they didn't make a move at us. Uh, they want us to take them okay. head on. We're gonna move... Uh, oh, they're right there. Alright, JP, you do have a flanking shot on one of them. Actually, instead of taking that flank shot, let's move Mike in. Where did that third one go? That's what I'm wondering. Go ahead and kinetic strike this muton. Right, let's see where the other one went. We're gonna put Austin into Overwatch. JP, you're gonna take a shot at this muton. Nice job. We're actually gonna bring Kathy down. Moving out. But we're gonna move John over here and finish it off with a. Actually, no, we won't. We won't finish it off with John. We'll have Kathy take the shot. Question is, where do I want her to move into cover for? Here would be probably better. Headed there now. So much for providing sniper support from up top. These mutons really threw a wrench in my plans. Alright, take him out. Alright, Kathy's earned herself a promotion. Nice. And there's the third muton. Alright, we know where he is. John can go into Overwatch. They're trying to pull back. Alright, he's on the move. Yep, he's running off. Alright, and we see there's a melt directional in this direction somewhere. So we gotta head inside. Alright, let's start off by moving Mike. Alright, there he is. He's just sitting over there. How do I want to do this? Move Mike over here. So we want to capture at least one of these mutons. 
move JP here so he's closer for capture range. We'll move Kathy up as well. We're gonna go ahead and start weakening that muton. Alright. John, we're gonna move you over here. We're gonna take a shot with you. Hopefully, we won't kill it. Alright, good. And then we're gonna move Austin up. We're gonna pop some smoke onto the team. Heading out. That mutant's on the run again. Alright, JP, you're the one who's going after it. Position confirmed. Ah, he keeps moving out of range. We'll hold our position. JP, hunker down. I'm gonna have Mike move out into the open so that he appears to be bait so that the Muton doesn't move and takes a shot at us instead. Kathy, we're gonna move you over here. Okay. I'm gonna have you hunker down. John, you can move here. We'll have you hunker down as well. Austin, let's have you moving up top with the rest of them. Double time. And Mike, you might as well just move again real quick. Don't you run. Good, he took the bait. Alright, Mel Directional is in that direction. Alright, JP, let's go ahead and nab ourselves a muton. Eighty percent to stun. Let's take it. Subduing target. Nice job. Not so tough now, are you? All right, Austin, where are you? Let's head over to where Mike is. Okay. Are you in range for healing him? No, you are just out of his range. All right. Well, we'll move him into range for you real quick. Get that heal. Don't want to rush into the next room. Good as new. All right, Kathy, let's have you move up over here. We'll have you in Overwatch. Oh, we got a group of floaters down there, and they don't suspect us. We're gonna put Mike into Overwatch. We'll move John over here as well. They don't suspect us still. Get the jump on them right now. Should I though? We wouldn't be able to kill them. No, we'll go into Overwatch. We'll see what they do. Nope, they don't do anything. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to our sniper. Actually, no. With John. John, switch to your sniper. What do you got? 100% on him. 8 98 on him. Let's take him out. Give him a nice surprise. No oh, John's earned himself a promotion. Time to kick this they off. still... Alright, now they're on the Alright, Austin, let's head down there. I want you taking that one out. Headed there now. You have a flank on him, and you have a 55 on him. That's not that good. Alright, well, let's take out the one that's flanking you then. Uh, that you have a flank on, I should say. Austin earned, him Austin earned himself a promotion. That's nice. Alright, and Caffey's got a shot. 
not for much. Let's make Mike. Let's get Mike to take the shot. Actually, instead of taking the shot, we'll have him punch it instead. Mike's just in the mood to punch everything today. It is causing a little bit of damage to the ship, but hey, you're punching stuff. And that works wonders for uh, temper issues. Alright, let's rush JP back into the ship. Let's do this. Still gotta find that other melt canister. Oh, it's in this direction over here somewhere. Don't quite see it. Actually, I do. It's right there in the next room. Alright, that's where we're headed. Get everybody moving. Copy that. John's not going to be using his sniper much while inside, so we'll switch him back to his pistol. Kathy, you go ahead and do the same. I'm going to have you move over to the doorway over here. Alien object inside. All right, we got three turns to make it to that there canister. Are tanks of some kind. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects alive. Like some sort of test tube with a solution to keep them fresh. Got my eyes on. All right. Pretty sure JP will be able to get there soon. If not, we'll have the others rush towards it. We'll have the others just ready to go through the doorway. JP, let's go ahead and look around the corner. Ah, we got another group of floaters. They're moving out into the open. Caffrey took a shot, but it only did for one. Kind of in a bad position here. We'll take out the most immediate threat. Nice shot. Alright, let's see what the other two do. That one's on the move. Alright, he's suppressing JP. That's not bad. What's this one gonna do? Alright, he took a shot at JP, but also missed. Alright, let's see. Mike, need you on the move. Or have you tried to take out the one that's doing the suppressing fire? You got a 70%, let's take him out. All right, JP's free to move. X-ray eliminado. Let's have JP move around the corner and take out that last floater. X-ray neutralized. Nice job. Oof. Luckily, we took care of that situation. All right, Austin, let's move you over to the canister. We'll grab that next turn. We'll move the others as far as they can go. Uh, John, let's have you move up to this doorway. Yep, looks clear. Go ahead and move Kathy up as well. Orders confirmed on the move. All right clear so far, and we just made it just in time to grab this canister. Alright, let's go ahead and stack up on that doorway. Stepping off. Rolling out. Roger that. I feel commander. Headed there now. Alright. Reaching the next, uh, See, the next room, in. just a little bit. Alright, it's open.
open that door. Oops. Okay, Mike moved for whatever reason instead of opening the door. Alright, let's just have him move in. Clear so far. Must be on the lower level. We'll go ahead and secure the doorway. Doorway, make sure nothing gets out. Kathy, let's have you switch to this side. Go into Overwatch. Austin, you move up behind next to No, we'll move you up behind Mike. You go into Overwatch. John, you get to this side. Go into Overwatch. JP, you join the others inside. I'm on it, Commander. And you go ahead and reload. Ready to rock. All right, Austin. Let's have you move over Hi, here. Hi. Get a look Open down there. Fire. Got ourselves an outsider. He's making a move closer to us. All right. Mike's got a 45 from here. Austin could take it out. What's JP got? Actually, we could just take him out with JP. Or we could capture it for a light plasma rifle. Huh. JP, let's have you move up and take the shot. Nice job. Killing these particular aliens gets us nowhere. Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. Val and I should remind you that we've already caught one. Alright, so Operation Spectro Stroke is complete. We killed 10 aliens, no operatives lost, and we recovered both melt canisters. Nice job. Let's bring it home. Troops were able to safely acquire more of the meld. Indeed, Dr. Val. Alright, promotions all around for everyone. Alright, Mike, let's start off with you. Now that you're a lieutenant, you have access to either jet boot module uh, or one for all. One for all basically allows him to become a form of high cover for our troops, but if he moves from that position, he no longer has that cover status. But I'd rather give him the jet boot module, which will basically allow him to reach higher areas um, and in the, uh, indirectly allow him a little bit more mobility. Plus, he does have the kinetic strike, so that does stack up pretty well. Alright, next up, Kathy. She's now a corporal. Uh, she either has snapshot or squad sight. We're going to have her take the squad sight because I plan on giving Richard the snapshot so that he's a, he's a mobile sniper. Alright, for John, now that he's a captain, we have either Executioner, which is a plus 10 aim against targets with less than 50% health, useful for finishing things off, or Opportunist, eliminate the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to cause critical hits. Now that's a very nice thing and we're gonna go with that. Austin, now that you're a corporal, we are probably gonna give you Sprinter so you can cover more ground easily. Uh, I would give you covering fire, but at the same time, I don't want you burning through ammo so fast right now. So we're going to go with the extra tile movement. And lastly, JP, you've also made it to Corporal. We are going to give you uh, Tactical Sense, so every time uh, to get plus 5 defense per enemy in sight, rather than the critical damage per enemy in sight. Alright. In the process, we've also earned a Medic Medal. We'll also... We'll I'll award that later on. For now, I'll hold on to it. Your men certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please, pass on my gratitude to our forces. Alright, so we have some new research available. We have the ability to interrogate a muton and then perform its autopsy. We recovered a light plasma rifle and an alien grenade. We have six floater corpses, two muton corpses, a muton captive, 34 Illyrium, 116 Alloys, 20 Weapon Fragments, 20 Meld, 2 Alien Stasis Tanks, 2 Flight Computers, 2 Alien Surgeries, and a Power Source. 
We also have four damaged alien stasis tanks, two damaged flight computers, a damaged alien surgery, and a damaged power source. Those damaged components we're going to sell on the gray market. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that in. We also have no use for the alien surgery and the alien stasis tank. While they are curious and we could research them, we don't really need them. Alright, we do have a decent amount of money now. So, since John did make it to a captain, we do have the ability to reach squad size 2 now. So we're going to head over to officer training school and make that purchase right now. Alright, so now we can bring up to 6, six members, uh, 6 troops. Uh, let's see, what else is there to do? Alright, well, not much except for to scan for some more activity. Alright, our access lift is done. Let's go ahead and take a look at our options down there. We could start excavating here, but I do want to save more money uh, so that we have, so we're ready for the satellite nexus. Actually, how much is the... How much is the satellite nexus? 250. It'll cost us 80 for that steam pocket. Huh. Well, what I could do. 20 short. No, I'll hold off for now. I was thinking of selling some more alien corpses. But it won't be enough. Looks like our next batch of gene modding is complete. Optic adjustment speed will allow them to compensate much faster when they miss shots. Better depth perception and visual processing will allow our soldiers to take greater advantage of elevated firing positions. All right. All right. Looks like our research into precision lasers is also complete. So let's go ahead and assign some new research. As usual, if you want to read the research report, you can pause the video. Alright, so we now have the ability to make manufacture scatter lasers and laser sniper rifle. The scatter laser is basically a laser shotgun. Alright, so let's go ahead and interrogate the muton. Quite an aggressive specimen, but nothing Dr. Valen can't handle. Alright, so here's another research, research report for you guys. Uh, we also earned the Plasma Weaponry Research Credit, so all of our research time into Plasma Weaponry is cut down. Very nice. Let's go ahead and perform the Muton Autopsy. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Alright, so there's our research report on the mutant. I'll go ahead and scroll through this. Alright, so with this research complete, we, ha we now have access to the adrenal neurosympathy in our uh, gene labs. And we also unlocked the ammo conservation project in the foundry. Very nice. Alright, so next up, I think we should... I would like to start working on heavy lasers, but I feel like it will be more important to start working on the UFO power source. Alright, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and scan for some more activity. We have a secure transmission coming in from the Council, Commander. Thank you, Bradford. Let's go take a look. Alright, we have the Council mission, Confounding Light. According to Dr. Shen's report, the transponder device provided by Zhang is tied into the navigation system of an alien battleship approaching our atmosphere. The doctor believes deploying a series of modified transponders could provide you with a means of diverting the battleship before it reaches its target. We will transmit the remaining mission parameters to Central. They're rewarding us with two engineers, which is perfect. We'll now have enough to start working on our satellite nexus. But we'll leave this for next time. 
that's it for episode 13 of XCOM Enemy Within. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.